Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Dirk Bridgedale, KM6UXE. And uh, he has a question about end feeding um, a half wave, which is fine. You can do that easily. But his house is set up like this. And he's going to go from up here out to a fence that's right there. And the land slopes. Okay. The land slopes. So here's his antenna right here. From here to here. Now, <clears throat> if we turn this this way, this sure looks like a sloper where you've got level ground, and you've got a dipole that slopes down toward the ground. Now, to answer his question directly, in which direction will it radiate most, uh, I would have to say I am not sure. My uh, version of the Easy NEC software uh, will not do anything except level ground. Okay, but I will tell you this, if it's a sloper, like this, the direction of radiation is going to be mostly this way. Okay, so I'm going to assume that if you turn it like that, you've got the same thing. Okay, I don't see anything flipping around just because of the geometry of the thing. So I'm going to guess that you're going to get more direction this way. Now let's look at this from the top. Okay, so you'll get uh, a lobe in this direction, but you're also going to have a lobe in this direction too. Okay, and there is still some radiation off the sides. You get more directivity here and a little less here. Um, it's going to be hard in normal use to tell it apart from a non-directional antenna, but it will give you a little bit uh, directionality in that direction. So that's a real short answer right there. Uh, and it's extrapolated from what I know, uh, taking just a simple sloper and going up and looking at it like that. If anybody has any other ideas, they can uh, put those in the comments, specifically if somebody has Easy NEC, uh, the 4 version. Uh, no, the one that uses NEC 4. There's two national electromagnetic codes. There's, number, there's two and there's four. Number two was back when it was understood that if you did anything where you were paid government money, the government owned the rights to the code and the government is the people, therefore the people, us, we can use that code. But then that changed to where if the uh, organization put some of its own money into it, using some complicated formula, then it owns the rights and can lease the rights to anybody. And the general public doesn't get that, even though public money was used to help develop it, which is the case for NEC4. Uh, and it's a crying shame, but uh, that change took place 30, 40 years ago. But the bottom line is the NEC4, you can do things with ground, whereas you can't with NEC2. The NEC2 is, is free, and that's what's used by EZNEC6. Uh, and now there are two versions of easy NEC, they're no longer supported. One uses number two, one uses number four. You need to pay about $400 for the license uh, for the, uh, e, uh, the EMC electromagnetic code, uh, number four uh, for the license. Royal pain, I know, royal pain. Anyway, if you've got that and can model this, please let me know and we'll will make any corrections that are needed. So there you have it. If you'd like to help support this channel financially, dcastler.com slash support. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, dcastler.com slash giveaway. 
Until we next meet, 73.